नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूले सम ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स इज कॉस एक्स सो इफ आई इंटीग्रेट कॉस एक्स आई विल गेट साइन एक्स प्लस सम कांस्टेंट सी सिमिलरली डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स राइट सो इफ आई इंटीग्रेट साइन एक्स डी एक्स आई विल गेट माइनस कॉस एक्स प्लस सम कांस्टेंट सी सिमिलरली डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ऑफ टेन एक्स इज सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स सो इफ आई इंटीग्रेट सेक्स स्क्वायर एक्स विद डी एक्स आई विल गेट टेन एक्स प्लस सी सिमिलरली यू नो दैट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉसेक एक्स इज माइनस कॉट एक्स कॉसेक एक्स सो इफ आई इंटीग्रेट cotex cosec x dx i'll get minus cosec x plus c now if i differentiate sec x i get sec x tan x so if i integrate this i will get sec x plus c similarly with cot x if i differentiate cot of x i'll get minus cos x square x so if i integrate cos x square x i'll get minus cot of x plus c so we are done with trigonometric functions now let's move on to inverse trigonometric functions if i differentiate sin inverse x by a i get 1 divided by root under a square minus x square so if i integrate One divided by a square minus x square. Then I'll get sine inverse x by a plus c. Similarly, if I integrate tan inverse x by a, I get a divided by x square plus a square. So if I integrate Since I had a a here, I need to divide by a plus some constant c. Okay. Now, while I was discussing trigonometric functions, the derivative of trigonometric functions, I had left some of the functions like what would be the integration of cot x, what would be the integration of tan x. what will be the integration of sec x and what will be the integration of cos sec x now you can find the answers in any general book i didn't solve this because i want you to solve this for on your own and you will be able to solve this for on your own when you we move further like when we discuss the methods of integration so now we'll move on to the methods of integration but before we move on to the methods of integration let's discuss some of the properties of integration properties the first property is that you know that if i integrate f of let's say i get g of x okay now if i integrate a f x d x the answer will be a g x plus c the conclusion is that if i integrate a f x d x i can take the constant out of the integration okay so this is the first property that 
if you are integrating a function which is a constant multiplied with it you can take out the constant the second property is that let's say you integrate you have been asked to integrate a summation of n functions this property says that to integrate this whole thing you can separately integrate each of the functions so this i can write it as so this is my second property now there are more properties which we'll discuss as we proceed for now it's good enough to know only these two properties now let's discuss some of the methods of integration now 